Warning: This experiment deals with boiling hot sulfuric acid. This must be performed with gloves outside our infusion hood. Good night, mate. In this video, we are going to concentrate sulfuric acid that we made in a previous video by a simple distillation. Sulfuric acid can be made concentrated simply by evaporating some of the water. But uh, the most effective way to concentrate the acid is to distill it. So let's set up all our products. Connect the tube to the Liebig condenser with another end attached to a water pump. And adjust the lab jet to a suitable height. Let the water run through the condenser column first, then bring up the heat. The reason why clamps and hole plate were not used because the boiling point of sulfuric acid is well above 300 C. Plastic clamps will simply melt under such a temperature and uh, I don't have any metal ones on hand. A hole plate cannot do the job as it is terrible at insulating the heat. A heating mantle will be great but uh, unfortunately I don't have one either. To make things to go a little faster, aluminum foil is used to wrap around the flask to insulate the heat. Well, the little alcohol burner doesn't seem to do the job well, so we are going to need something better. By applying more heat, we can bring the acid to its boiling point. Be aware that boiling sulfuric acid is very dangerous. It can cause instant chemical burns if you get anything on you. Once the acid reaches boiling point, we will soon see distillate making through the condenser column and to be collected in the receiver. However, at this stage, the distillate is mainly just water. The receiving beaker needs to be constantly changed in order to obtain more concentrated acid. A simple way to test whether the acid is concentrated or not is by dropping few acid onto a piece of paper towel. If the acid is concentrated, the hydroxyl group in the cells will be stripped off and the paper will be carbonized. If not, it will just get wet. In this case, you can see the paper being teared through by the acid. This is a strong indication that we are collecting concentrated sulfuric acid. But it is still not a 98% azeotrope tube that we are trying to achieve. Channel Neurage has a brand new way to distinguish if the distillate reaches azeotropic concentration. When two acids at a different concentration mix, you will see those light distortions as they have different reflected index. If you see such a phenomenon, which means the acid concentration is still increasing, keep swapping the receivers until those distortions stop occurring. Here is an example when the distillate reaches azeotropic concentration. Stop the distillation. When there is about half hundred milliliter of dirty acid left in the distillation flask, it is very important not to run distillation to a complete dryness. Just for a side note, you may notice that the setup here is a little different from the initial one. That's because the flask cracked due to the inconsistent heating. I put this clip here to show you accidents do happen. And it is very important to always have proper safety precaution because you will never know what is going to happen next. The concentration of the final distillate is examined by a density test. The result is very close to the theoretical density. That's all I have for this video. If you find this video useful, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, it will help him a lot. And uh, I will see you next time.